Hi guys! So our oppa is turning one and he is fully grown, thriving, and healthy as can be. So we got him when he was only three months old and for the first six to seven months, he grew pretty quickly each week, both in weight and in size. So he went from taking baths in the sink to now his little bathtub in the shower. So on some days he's shaggy, other days he's a perfectly fluffed cotton ball. But he's maintained a pretty sweet and playful nature like most Bichons, and his barks are few and always with reason. If we're busy in our rooms, you'll find him just quietly waiting outside of our doors, hoping one of us will come out soon. So Bichons are unbelievably lovable, patient, and extremely easy to train. So all they're really looking for is attention and someone to play with. So we've gotten a lot of questions over the past few months asking for tips to care for the Bichons and updates on whether choosing a mini-sized one was a good decision. So first let's start off with grooming because this is really the only thing that needs such high maintenance when it comes to this breed. This is Oppa with a bad hair day so you can see his fur isn't as fluffy even if it's not really matted. What we do is we have him groomed on average once every two weeks. So in between I give him a bath but I don't have a blow dryer and that's really essential if you want to keep his fur soft. As for his cage, he rarely uses it because he's pretty behaved around the house. But we have a 3x2 modular set that we bought, very cheap from Shopee. It's perfect because it's collapsible, then you can adjust his drinking bottle to the right height. Now around 7-8 to eight months, Alpa's growth started to really slow down, and it was around that age when we considered him pretty much at his adult size and weight. He hasn't changed much since then. The most essential thing we purchased was this pee mat because he literally only does his business around this area. We don't take him outside because COVID, so he pees wherever his pee mat is. There was one time we forgot the mat in the wash and he had an accident on the floor. So he kind of tried to blend in with the surroundings and hide from us. But again, he's a purely inside house dog for now and he's never touched pavement, which is probably why it's easy to keep him clean and from eating anything that could make him sick. Oppa loves soft toys though. He hates rubbery hard ones. So since he chewed through all our fluffy slippers, we just gave him his own and a knotted rope that he also really loves. He's also really smart when it comes to fetch. There are days when you're not doing anything and he'll just bring the toy to you because he wants to let you know that he wants to play and it's really hard to say no. You'll notice how he just stays at the entrance of the kitchen because he knows he's not allowed inside at any time. So I call this my North Korea, South Korea demarcation line. This is my DMZ. Okay, let's talk about the other important things to buy to care for your bichon. Obviously, diaper pads for the PMAT are a must-buy. But one thing that I think everyone should also have are these eye vitamins to make sure that your bichons don't experience tear stains. They are terrible to see on your puppy's face and mostly affect white-haired dogs. So this Elijah eye vitamin drops from Shopee also is a lifesaver. Every day, Oppa takes these Nutrigen multi-purpose vitamins and then we feed him A and F organic kibbles in lamb, turkey, and soft salmon pieces. We've stuck to this brand because it doesn't make his poop smell. The consistency is easy to pick up and it's not soft or watery. Now the type of dog food can also affect his fur and so far this has been great for his coat. We fill his bowl to just enough to cover the bottom and feed him three times a day. Don't overfeed your bichon. So I think the recommended amount is about one cup of kibble a day plus treats. 
We try not to give him too much table food, but he really loves bread and potato chips. Okay, so regular bichons are between 12 to 20 pounds, so Oppa is still in the mini category. But he's active, happy, and very strong. And that's it! So we hope this has been helpful for anyone curious about our mini Korean bichon. And without question, you will truly love this breed.